You and me, we want the same thing right now. So work with me. One condition. Yeah, name it. They die. Yeah. Every single one of them, no trials. No bullshit. They die. Hey everyone, Greg and Chastity here, and we are here with our spoiler-filled review for Punisher Season 1. Before we jump in, please subscribe to GameSpot Universe, because we'll have a lot more videos on Justice League and Star Wars, so you won't want to miss any of it. But beware, there are spoilers ahead, so finish the show. Oh yeah. Alright guys, let's do this. Okay, so what is your initial reaction? I liked it overall, but I think mm -hmm. it was just very drawn out. I think 13 episodes was way too long. It could have very. been condensed to eight to 10 episodes, I think would have been the sweet spot. Could but have yeah. been six for me. <laughs> I think eight would have been perfect. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit too long, but I thought it was an overall good series mm -hmm. in the Netflix Marvel canon. Me too. I thought it was a lot better mm -hmm. than Defenders. Yes. Um, but it suffers from the same thing that Netflix MCU really goes through right now, which is just too long. They drag it out as long as possible. And But from Defenders to this, I really like the action. Mm -hmm. I thought there were some pretty creative uh, set pieces. Um, but man, oh man, it drags. It does drag. But yeah, let's compare it to the rest of the Netflix Marvel shows. So mm -hmm. I think that it was good. I, I think it might be number three or number four. I definitely place it below Daredevil season one and Jessica Jones season one, which yes. are kind of even tiered for me. Yes. Um, and then Punisher. Jessica Jones right here up top yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. And the thing that hurts Punisher for me is the villain, really. I, I loved Billy Russo, Yeah. but it does not compare when you're talking about the Purple Man mm -hmm. from Jessica Jones, I'm sorry. Yeah. Best villain since Loki. I agree. Okay, let's talk about the characters real quick. Um, let's start with Frank, honestly, the first. Yeah, so Frank definitely had a lot of progression in the show. Like he just was a loner at first and he was just kind of hitting a wall, like <laughs> going crazy, just hitting that wall over the, and over the and John over Wick again. The John Wick stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're hitting just, you over the head with it. They know you love it in John Wick, so they're just gonna <laughs> give you more of it. It worked. Yeah, yeah, but just having flashbacks and hitting a wall over and over, but yeah, he <laughs> definitely came a long way through the season. So I, I like that he opened up to Micro and his family, so it was nice to see some character development there. Hey, listen to me. You wanna get him killed? Is that what you wanna do? He's a little baby. He needs me. Don't be good, Madonna. Good, Madonna. I'll do whatever it takes, but you gotta go. All right, let's talk about Micro. So he is one of the main characters this season, and he's kind of his like right hand man. So, mm -hmm. what do you think of Micro? Very well done. I mm -hmm. thought he was really developed. Um, his character, the family dynamic they had with him, really helped out a lot. I yeah. just wish there was more of that. I know. Um, again, we're gonna talk about this later, but the interrogation scenes. Just drawn, they're, everything's drawn out so long. <laughs> yeah. And you don't need it. And Micro is one of those guys where he can just like, computer, I got it. Let's do this. Frank, let's go. And yeah. that should have been the whole show. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Dina Madani. All right, yeah. So she was a vital character and moved the plot along a lot, but I didn't ever gravitate towards her as like one of my favorite characters or someone I was interested in yeah. and someone I wanted to know more about. Like she was just very, like singular and not They very tried. They really tried too. Yeah. Yeah, she wasn't. She <laughs> yeah. wasn't all there. And they really yeah. tried. They gave mm -hmm. her a partner and they took that partner away. They wanted us to feel I bad for her. I wasn't that big on her partner either. Like no. he, he just seemed like a cliche, a walking cliche. It's just like, oh man, I'm here and I make jokes well, and I'm thing. your partner and your sidekick, but yeah. The so death. Like, Nothing on nothing. that death I scene. Nothing. I felt nothing except I laughed when uh, oh. Billy, you know what scene, when Billy oh, caresses no. her and wipes the blood off that yeah. he put there in the first yeah, place. Yeah, he's like, oh, I killed him. It's time it's to wash okay. you. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Like, that's straight up. I can see that in the comics. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that, that was very comic book. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Jesus, if you're trying to make me feel like the bad guy here, congratulations. Speaking of Billy Russo, I thought that he was a very good and worthy adversary. Me too. Yeah, so I, I liked him. I thought it was a good character. I thought he was really well done. Mm -hmm. um, now, they could have had him, you know, get his face screwed up way earlier sure. in the storyline. They didn't they have waited. to do that. Yeah. But the way they did it and they pulled it off, <laughs> pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's talk about some of the supporting characters. So we have Rollins, Agent Orange, just the guy that you hate the entire season. The, the twirly mustache. Twirly mustache. The season. Whisker, you know, he has a scar like every villain in a Bond uh, movie. Yes. <laughs> he looked like a Bond villain. Like yeah. he, he was just a walking cliche as well. Um, but you, it did work because you hated him. You just wanted him to die. And it felt so good when he finally what did. What did they say at the end, <laughs> and I think it was episode 13, <laughs> and his body's on the ground like, whoa, they really got to him. This, uh, Frank really messed him up. And then, the, and then the detective says, yeah, he deserved it. I was, I was like, whoa, Jesus. Everyone hated him. <laughs> Everyone hated him. He's the worst. Let's talk about Curtis real quick. I like Curtis a lot. Me too. Yeah. Uh, but the one thing I really liked about him was that they didn't kill him off. I, yeah. Thank so many you. times. Thank I, you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Every Netflix MCU show so far has had the black B-side character killed off at some point. At some point. I kept looking at him <laughs> like, uh, you're going to go away any yeah. second, dude. I was I like, know oh, it. now's the time. Oh, man. I was like, with his own leg? And then, then he was alive. I'm like, oh, he's alive. I'm like, and then you're going to blow him up? I was like, oh, he's alive. All right. I'm like, oh, oh no, God, Billy. he gets shot in the kitchen. <laughs> Billy, no. <laughs> Thank Done. goodness. It's just like so many close calls. Season two, please, man. Just get this guy a bubble or something to stay Let in. Let him live. Uh. Don't kill him. <laughs> Now let's talk about Karen Page, who shows up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I felt she was only there so you can have a character from another show be there. Yeah, she was... To keep it all together. She was kind of the Claire here, where it's just like, oh, hey, remember, this is all part of the same universe. Oh. She's here. Oh. And I, I just thought it was weird that like there were three bombings and Matt Murdock did not offer to help Karen Page. No. Like, they, if they couldn't get him or if they didn't want to show him in the show because it would take away from the Punisher, they could have at least thrown a line in. Now, be like, yeah, Matt's been calling me nonstop, but you know, I told him I've got this, or something along those lines. I'm assuming that something involved with uh, Daredevil season three, yeah. or they're still in the timeline for Defenders at this very moment? Maybe, yeah, maybe he's all caught up in stuff, but still, uh, one line would have made it more believable. I'm just like, as if they would all leave Karen alone. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's not like, hey. After she's been targeted by a terrorist. <laughs> Frank doesn't tell Karen at any point, like, hey, hey, man, um, can we, can we, can you get your buddy on the line for us? I, I'm, I need some help here. Nothing. It's like, whoo, three bombings. Oh man, uh, I'm one dude. Uh, whoo. <laughs> she was damsel yeah. in distress. Yeah. That was her character. They just needed her in there for a few scenes to keep it all together. Mm -hmm. He's not who they say he is. <laughs> Saved my life. Again. Oh, it's something else we have in common. Best new character, who do you think? Micro. Micro? Yeah. I liked Micro, but I also, I think I just really loved Curtis and I really loved yeah. Sarah for mm -hmm. some reason. I just thought that she, Curtis and Sarah were the heart of the show. They were just like the, the moral compasses of the show and they're trying to do good and they're trying to see the best in people and they're hopeful and they're optimistic. They're just two good actors too. They're very good actors. And all the support group stuff with Curtis really worked only because of him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I could feel it. It uh, was him. Yeah. yeah. He was the heart of it. Lewis. Mm. Uh, yeah, let's talk about worst characters. Lewis is the worst character of this entire oh. season. He's unnecessary. Are you with me on that? Because I think that yeah. his subplot either could have been like just condensed to one episode or he could have just not been in the show at all. One episode at all. or get rid of him too, that's exactly. fine. Exactly. That whole thing, the, from the start where he's digging the hole, or he's It's so the drawn hole. out, I'm like, we don't need these scenes, and then looking back. We know back, where it's going, yeah. Exactly, and then looking back through the entire season, you're like, wow, that was a waste of time. The, the whole, all the scenes with his dad, all the scenes where he's in the backyard, um, the whole Ugh. thing with the, the guy who was lying to him. I'm like, yeah, that was the you just the need, point where he turned, but it's like, you just needed one episode. You just need one episode, and they just drew this out because they needed filler. They needed a subplot. It's 13 Lewis episodes. Was, yeah, yeah, he so was totally their filler. Drawn out. I mean, he wasn't even a good villain. <laughs> no, like, and it's... It's unsettling, and it yeah. wasn't unsettling as in, oh, this is Punisher. This is just a terrible character from yeah. the beginning. And his motivations for how he gets to point A, to from the PTSD to becoming an assassin, a, a sniper assassin, to mm -hmm. this incredible like villain character out of nowhere. Yeah. No. No. Like, he doesn't seem capable of these things at the beginning, and then all of a sudden he's just wiping out New York left and it's right. It's a comic book. All right, I get it. <laughs> That's Lewis. how it is. Lewis. 
Okay, let's start off with the good, Frank Micro. Yep, Frank and Micro together, working together, being bros, hanging out in their <laughs> their crappy basement. Uh, <laughs> more of that now, just move it onto the car. Yeah. Let's put it in the van and let's keep this going. I mm -hmm. love it. Good stuff, yeah. Um, as I mentioned before, I really liked Billy Russo and I thought he was a really perfect adversary for Frank. And so I thought he was an effective villain because usually the problem in a lot of Marvel properties is there's just this villain that doesn't make any sense or is completely useless or one note or just like, oh mm -hmm. great, we just need a villain here. But now, Billy felt like a good villain. Yeah. Sometimes though, they do the same thing where they'll have the villain pretty much be a doppelganger of mm -hmm. the protagonist. That's there, what's right? happening here. And yeah. this is what it is. <laughs> yeah. um, I didn't like it for that reason, mm -hmm. only because if you're gonna have Billy Russo then, have him be a more of a side character villain all right. the way through, mm -hmm. and then transform him into Jigsaw at some point while you have another big baddie in the background. Yeah. Well, there's Agent Orange, and you know, you hate him, and he's the yes. worst. Yes. But yeah, I liked Billy. And then I love the action. Oh yeah. Like, honestly, that's really what this show is set up for. Mm -hmm. Every set piece is pretty well done, honestly. Yeah. Except for the car chase, the bullet scene. I thought that felt a little cheap. That, a little bit, but everything else, at all of the gunfights, all of just like the hand-to-hand -hand combat was mm -hmm. excellent. Just like uh, all the flashback fights and all of the stuff just between whenever you see Frank on screen doing some punishing. It's good. That's all I want. It's good. And that's what everyone's looking for. Just give me that. Yeah. like the stakes were a lot higher here because there were no superpowers involved. So it just felt mm -hmm. like anyone could die at any moment and there's no deus ex machina coming in to like save the world. And yeah, they didn't have a scene <laughs> where all of a sudden microchip hacked into something to right. save the day. Yeah. That didn't happen. It was no. just Punisher showing up and killing people. Yeah. And he was constantly beat up, so he's just, there's so many scenes where he's just bloodied and a mess and he's got broken bones and he's has to get sewn back together, so just, Again. it's not like he, he gets punched and like falls down 40 flights and then he just gets right back <laughs> up like a lot of other Marvel heroes. Like, there are a lot of stakes he's here. He's still a superhero, I mean, yes. the way he's like, uh, it's like Terminator when <laughs> right, he's pulling bullets out. Right, it's just like he should out. be able to walk right now, but at no, least yeah. there were like some episodes where he was down for the count for a bit, like when they had to take the, the arrow out of him and then he was just out oh, I hate for it. a while. I hate it, that yeah. stuff. We're gonna get into that next <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, let's talk about the bad. Okay. And right where you said the arrow scene, Blah. all these scenes of interrogation <laughs> and surgery. Yeah. They've had, I think, I feel like it was like 10 of them at least. It, yeah. They kept going and a going. Lot. A lot. That and flashbacks. That's yes. what there was too much of. Too much interrogation, too many surgeries, and, and too many flashbacks. To something we already know what happens. Yeah, they could have exactly. had that in the first episode again. I agree. I feel like if you took all of the flashbacks in season one and just compile them together, you can get rid of an entire episode of The Punisher. <laughs> I wonder if you can combine all the, if you take out all the surgery scenes, all the interrogation scenes, I wonder yeah. what you're left with. How many, like, how many hours of this is left? Probably 11 episodes right there. There, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a problem, the pacing. Yeah. Pacing was a major problem. Uh, there was a really slow buildup. So as I'm talking to people in the office today, a lot of people aren't as far in as we are, but they're like, when do I get to see some punishing? <laughs> like, when does this turn into the show that I think it's going to be? And I was like, just hang in there. Just hang in there. It takes a second. It takes a while. Just stay with it. Yeah. Again, the Lewis subplot just didn't need to be there. Unnecessary. I feel like you could have taken that whole thing out and would have been fine. Ugh. Like, I could have done without it entirely. Throw out the Lewis storyline and put in more with Microchip. Yeah. More Micro. Problem solved. Yeah. Or, actually, Throw out the Lewis subplot and put in more with Dina. Yes. Oh, yeah. If they could have just fleshed out Dina more and made her a more interesting character, mm -hmm. that would have been better for the show. Okay, uh, bad too. This is just a side note, but <laughs> one thing that was pretty weird was the you miss sex scene. Oh. <laughs> Do you miss sex? Uh, what do you want me to say? Because for me, I miss sex. Yeah, it's good to know, buddy. Yeah, so Micro got really drunk yeah. after he had passed out to watching Frank kissing his wife on the, he, there's a flash frame of that. Mm -hmm. And then he just proceeds to pull his dong out. <laughs> 
and shake it in front of Frank. Oh. Uh, just then, to test Yeah, him. and then the next morning he's like, please forget everything I ever <laughs> said last night. Please, just erase it from your mind. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite moment? All right, oh, um, I think I really like the moment when Frank and Micro finally decide to team up and get revenge and that everyone must die. They die. Yeah, I can live with that. I also like when Frank takes on that entire base by himself in episode three. And they're like, this is a trap. And he's just like, I got this. And he psychs himself up. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go see Bruce uh, Springsteen. Where did you <laughs> Come on! Uh, one of my favorite moments has to be in episode 10 where Frank takes a body and uses it as a human shield. <laughs> he just slings <laughs> he just, it over. No, he rolls over, <laughs> picks it up, and then just continues just, to go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> just, the, the sound effects. Do, 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 do. I oh love it. Oh my god. Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> and then finally, I loved everything in the action scene, the forest with mm. Gunner. Yeah, that was intense. Uh, I loved it. The guerrilla warfare. You had the bear traps coming out and grabbing somebody. Oh. And then you had Frank coming out of the ground. Just, <laughs> uh, perfect. Yep. And they still won. R.I.P. <laughs> Gunner. But they still won. R.I.P. Gunner. Rip Gunner. Now, most intense scene. What do you got? Ooh, oh, when Frank is carrying that dude's head. Mm. And he's just walking slow-mo with the guy's head. I'm just like, he cut off his head. I looked down and looked back <laughs> up. I'm like, oh, he's got a head. He's got a head. <laughs> and then it, that wasn't the worst part, that he had a head. <laughs> the head blew up. The head exploded. Which is a tiny, wow. tiny callback wow. to Breaking Bad, <laughs> where they had the head on the turtle, and it was explosive at the very end. Yeah. I love that scene. <laughs> I have to go with the death of Rollins and then the creation of Jigsaw. Oh man. Yeah. Rollins, I was like, okay, he's gonna punch him in and then that's it, he's dead. And The eyes! <laughs> oh my god! So gross. <laughs> hey, it's in the comics. Not from that character, but the Punisher comics have a lot of eye gouging, mostly from the Kingpin. Oh, savage. <laughs> And then Jigsaw scene, I I get it. They're trying to really ham it up. Yeah. And so his scream on the wall. Yeah. Ah! He's was, pushing it down. That was intense. He's just slowly <laughs> dragging his face down the mirror. I was like, oh my god. This is like great, great A. This yeah. is perfect, guys. Yeah. And then one last intense moment I had was with Frank. He's He's trying to be a parent to, or something to... He's a mentor? A mentor or something. He's trying to scare straight Zach. Yeah. So he takes a knife, puts it on him. It is scared straight. Yeah. He's like, he just takes, he just flips a knife on him. And then Micro freaks out. He's Micro, like, no! He's like, no! And then Zach says, kill me. Just do it. I'm like, what the wow, this, fuck? Wow, this kid. <laughs> this kid has gone to a dark place. I have nothing after that. He that wanted was... the sweet embrace of death. God. Wow. That kid is going through something. I didn't expect to see that in a mm -hmm. Netflix show. I, all right. So a second season has not been confirmed, but there was a lot of setup at the end of season one in case they do want to continue Frank's story. So mm -hmm. what predictions do you have if we get a season two? Okay, well, Billy's gonna wake up. Yes. We're gonna see Jigsaw, He'll be Jigsaw. at some point. Mm -hmm. Now, from what we got from this season, I wouldn't be surprised if Jigsaw's in his makeup and he's still in the hospital for like five episodes. Mm -hmm. um, that's We're just gonna how get it the is. shot where his eyes just flip open. <laughs> at the end of episode four <laughs> yeah. or something. I, that's just what I, just fix the pacing, honestly. Mm -hmm. That's all I care about for season just two. amp it up, amp it up. Come on, there's a man out there, his name is Dick Wolf. He knows, <laughs> he knows how to pump those episodes and get everything in there for, if it's 20, if it's 20 to eight, he knows how he can stretch <laughs> this out. So I predict that Frank will not be able to live a normal life. That'll last maybe half an episode, half of episode one. He'll be doing normal stuff. And then all of a sudden shit will hit the fan for some reason because he mm -hmm. is a shit magnet. As they said at the end of the season, I'm shit worried magnet. what this shit that hits the fan is because they're gonna need mm -hmm. some kind of motivation to get him going. Yeah. And I'm worried that it's gonna be Someone with gonna Micro's die. family. Someone's gonna Someone's die. Gotta die. I'm worried. I hope they, they could be teasing it to have it go the same don't route. Don't hurt that family. They're so precious. Oh. They just want to eat Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, please don't kill Micro's family. Please don't. I think there will be a romantic interest or at least some kind of fling for Frank. Yeah. That's in store for season two. 
I think like enough time has passed and they'll be like, all right, I think we're okay with seeing him hook up with somebody, but he'll only love his wife ever. He'll never love another woman. Karen. <laughs> you think so? Uh, yeah, yeah. Something's gonna happen there, but at the same time, wasn't Karen, isn't she with, I don't know who she's with anymore. That's, she's it's hooked just up. like Claire. It's just like Claire, who yeah. are you with right now? <laughs> it's, Karen is gonna be the new Claire. It's be like, Karen, who do you love? Jessica the, Jones. Oh. <laughs> Karen's hooked up with so many people. Jessica Jones, season two. I like it. I like this, I, I like, like this. It. Okay, and this show really needs a villain of the week. Okay. Have Frank and Micro go on adventures each week while the giant plot is played out in the background mm, and have yeah. that come together every once in a while in the episodes. You don't need to have this filler the way they did it before. They right. can have Frank go on missions mm -hmm. with Micro. Yeah. In every episode. Yeah, they should be in the background. Take a page from Daredevil season one. Yeah. It's like the rise of Kingpin, but they're taking out all mm -hmm. these random dudes. Again, Dick Wolf, Law and Order. Just take a page from that too. <laughs> have the subplot go on in the background. Mm -hmm. Have the main plot go on in the background and just have Frank and Micro go on adventures. I, like I know, it. it's expensive, and that's probably why they're <laughs> not gonna do it, but I can only hope. I like it. Let us know what you'd like to see in a season two for The Punisher in the comments below. Yes. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. We've got Star Wars stuff coming, we've got Justice League. Ooh. Check them out, check out our videos. Bye guys.